at nine, a deadly hit and run near Soulard has renewed calls for something to be done at one of St. Louis's most dangerous intersections. Fox 2's Max Digna joins us live near the intersection of Gravoy and Russell. And Max, police say a woman was hit and killed near that intersection early Sunday. Yeah, Mandy, that's right. This whole situation has residents and one local leader calling for a change after this woman was hit by a driver headed east on Gravoy early Sunday morning. Charles Moran crosses this intersection every day. He says he knows its dangers firsthand. I knew somebody was going to get killed, though. I knew they were. Because if you're not on the ball and if you're slower, you ain't got a chance. Moran says the lights at Gravoy and Russell changed too quickly, not giving him and others, especially those with mobility issues, enough time to cross. You used to be able to get to that light, go across and do about your business. But when they changed them lights, they didn't do anybody no favor. Residents say speeding is also a major problem. People just run stoplights all the time and stop signs and going very fast all the time, cutting people off. Reckless driving has gotten completely out of control in the city of St. Louis. Alderwoman Kara Spencer represents this part of town. She says this intersection has been a problem for years and it's time for the city to act. Over it does city. move too slowly. Absolutely. I mean, look, we've identified this as a problem area uh, for many, many years now, um, you know, between ARPA dollars, between MoDOT dollars. I mean, it's time we really see some of these see some of these funds we put to work. Spencer says they're hosting a meeting in two weeks to get feedback from the community on how to make this intersection safer. Moran says it's about time. So I'm surprised more people haven't gotten hit or killed. I really am. Now, I talked to a woman at the Conoco across the street from us, an employee here. Uh, she told me that police came by today to review the surveillance cameras they have there at the gas station, which she says they were able to determine the car that hit this woman. Again, police have not released the woman's name. They also have not yet released the name of a suspect or a description of that vehicle. Stay with Fox 2 for updates. Reporting live in St. Louis tonight, Max Deeknight, Fox 2 News.